Lindsay and today is going to be an unboxing video. So this is for the June 2017 uh, Illustrative Faith Monthly Devotional Kit and this month is uh, Rise Up by Kristen Woolback and it's pretty awesome so I can't wait to show you. So uh, this is a kit that is not a subscription so they just come out with a new kit each month and then you jump online and order it if it's a kit that you think you are going to like for the month so that's kind of nice you get all kinds of goodies i'm sure you've seen plenty of my unboxings before um first up everything comes in a reusable zipper pouch and this one in particular has some just beautiful artwork by kristen and uh, Romans 322, just some fun uh, lettering. And I have a little tip for this later on, I'll show you in the video, but just really her artwork is amazing. I love her, her artwork. So you get, everything can fit into there. You get a little card from Shauna Noel and she writes you a little note about the kit this month. And then it has the hashtag for this month and it's hashtag if underscore rise up so if you share any of your stuff online through social media throughout this next month using this kit or in the future but for this kit in particular use that hashtag and then we can search that hashtag and see how everybody's working through the kit so that is super nice there you can even use this card as a tip in or something like that in your journaling so use every little bit of the kit you get a roll of washi tape i always love the washi tapes because you get uh, pretty good amount of tape and this month really has some great watercolor um, elements which I love so you've got this just really pretty uh, pinks and yellows and oranges it says be true speak life so you can cut little bits out and use it in your journaling so really really love that if you guys have watched any videos on my channel, you know I, watercolor is my jam. That's kind of my go-to medium for working in my Bible. So I'm excited to see that being um, a big part of the kit this month. You get three uh, tippins, and this one's giving you plenty of room to do journaling. So you can adhere this directly into the margins of your journaling Bible, and then just do your journaling right here, and then the page is done. Super easy. You could add some, a little bit of stamping, some paper elements, and then you've got a complete page without a lot of effort. Um, you also have solid cardstock on the back, so you could create a tip-in, uh, like a flap in your Bible, so you could have some hidden journaling or prayers um, in addition to whatever you put on here. So a couple different ways that you can use those. You get a little magnetic bookmark and more of her really pretty artwork. I'm going to try to do some of this uh, doodling in my watercolor this month to reflect her artwork. Um, it's not something that I typically do, but I'm going to challenge myself to kind of mimic her style there. And I just love the detail that it adds. So uh, you have this magnetic piece here that says life and with some of her artwork so you can either use this to mark your place in the devotional use it in a book you're reading or use it to mark one of your pages that you've journaled in your bible uh, this month you also get two sets of cardstock stickers you get a set of alphas and this really reminds me of like a galaxy or something it's really pretty it's this uh, black but then it has these bleached out areas like uh, white paint flicked on a black background and so there's some details to the alpha stickers they're not just a plain black so that's really nice and then you get the second set here which is some different uh, shapes some tabs sorry about that <laughs> puppy in the background and uh, one thing I noticed that I really like about this set is there's not a whole lot of lettering. Um, they're pretty simple little pieces here. So I'm, I think I'm going to have an easier time incorporating these elements into my uh, Bible journaling than I typically do because I can add lettering or add details to these pieces however I see fit to go with my pages. So there are a couple pieces here. Witness, Rise, a uh, little kite here, this really cute little mason jar candle. Um, that do have some details on them, but I'm, I'm excited to use these. So 
stamp set. This is always my kind of favorite, um, in addition to the devotional, of course, but I really love using the stamp set. Let me pull this out here. So have little pieces of her artwork, which are just amazing. I love her style. Uh, this little piece here with these crosses, another great piece for adding details in your journaling, not just in this kit, but any of your pages that you're doing. Uh, really cute banners here that you can use um, in other entries. <laughs> really fun stars, this rising sun, birds, mountains. So a lot of pieces that you can use uh, in journaling entries, not just from this kit. And I really appreciate when a stamp set's like that, when it has elements that I can use again and again and again and feel like I'm getting my money's worth out of a stamp set. So I appreciate that. Stamp backer, don't throw it away. You've got uh, all these fun paper pieces that you can cut out. And you've got some circle pieces, some squares. I'll have to admit, I have a hard time using these squares because they are bigger than my margin is. And so I kind of have to push myself to use these. I kind of have an idea in mind for how I'm going to be doing my entries this month. Uh, something a little bit different. I'm going to test it out, see if it works before I show you a video. But I think with that, what I'm going to do, I may be able to use some more of these. So we'll see what happens. So keep an eye out. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can get notified of any videos I have coming out as I work through this kit um, and showing you how I use these pieces these tabs here you can cut these out yourself with a uh, pair of scissors or i just use my we are memory keepers tab punch it is a smaller punch than the size of these uh, tabs that are in here but i found that it doesn't really cut out and leave off too much i'm still able to get the design on the tabs so i do just go ahead and use those and then you have these little pieces here you also get a little note from Kristen. Um, just kind of her heart behind this kit and so be sure to take a look at that and on the back here more of just her gorgeous gorgeous artwork so you could cut pieces out of this um, use it as a tip in uh, I've even been known to scan this part in and then print it out that way I'm not messing with you know these pieces in here but I still have the artwork on the back side to use so that's just a little tip for getting the most use out of the stamp packer. I do like to go ahead and cut everything out ahead of time and then store it in the zipper pouch so everything's all ready to go. The meat of the devotional. I think you guys are going to be super excited about this kit. If you're not already excited just based off of Kristen's artwork and the talent that she has there. Um, I sat in the pickup line this afternoon. I went to my mailbox, picked this kit up, went to pick up my kids, and I sat in the parking lot and read through the devotional. It is just um, amazing. I so appreciate her, her heart and just her vulnerability as she works through this devotional. I think you guys are really going to enjoy it as well. Um, there's a lot of depth and meat to this particular devotional. I always love the Illustrated Faith devotionals. I think they are fantastic. Um, and each person that they bring in has a little bit different, um, personality. Of course, everybody's individual. Um, but Kristen just, I love her just rawness. I really, really love following her on social media um, and enjoy her personality. So I think you guys will enjoy um, the devotional. Day seven in particular, I think is going to speak to a lot of you. Um, and it's just amazing. I really can't wait till you guys start getting your hands on this kit and seeing what you think of the devotional because I think it's, I think it's fantastic. She does give you um, kind of like a title for the day, suggested verse, her devotion, and then some uh, prompts, reflection prompts. So you have room to write here in the devotional. You can also do your artwork here in the devotional. You have enough room on most of these pages. On a page like this, you could use one of the uh, tip-ins and just washi tape that in and then have somewhere to take notes and do your artwork, or you could put a piece of pattern paper or something like that. So you don't have to have a journaling Bible to use these kits. Um, these kits you can use without a journaling Bible. So just keep that in mind. I pulled some things from my stash that I thought might go well with the kit. Um, of course, you know, we see a lot of this, uh, people using the Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pens. So I went ahead and pulled some from my stash that I thought that the colors kind of matched the kit. So you can, pause the video, write these down, take a screenshot. And these are just some that I pulled from my stash that I thought would go well. 
So you've got that. Um, I also pulled these alpha stamps from Tim Holtz. These are the mini worn text alphas. I'll go ahead and link these down in the description bar down below. Um, these are a foam cling stamp. So a little bit different than the clear stamps just because you can't see through them. They are like a rubber mounted, um, but they are sticky and stick to a stamp block no problem. So I pulled these because if you'll see, they really go well with the font, this kind of distressed font that they have for the titles. So I thought that I would be using these this month. So um, I'm excited to see what you guys think about the kit. Leave a comment down below if you've gotten the kit or if you haven't gotten a kit, something that you're excited about, you know, to what you're most excited about when the kit gets to you. Is it the stamps? Is it the devotional? Is it the stickers? You know, what are you excited about. So I cannot wait for you guys to pick this up. I think it's going to be be great for a lot of you. So make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're not already a subscriber. I do try to post uh, several process videos as I work through each month's kit. And uh, give me a thumbs up on this video if you enjoy these types of videos where I unbox um, kits like this so that you can see what all comes in there. And uh, until next time, thank you so much. Bye-bye.